My rights was restored in 2006, December of 2006. March 29th is when I received my rights back. Um, I just started, so um, seems like it's gonna be pretty easy. I just have to fill out a few forms, I guess. It's not a difficult process. A lot of folks' self-esteem is shot because they feel like because they're a convicted felon, there's a lot of things they can't do. I'm a former crackhead, dope fiend, ex-offender convict. I am grateful that I am able to lift my head up and say, my rights are restored. That's in my past. I'm walking in my present, and God got me for my future, so I'm, I'm all right with that. The first step is choosing the right application. Once you've determined your eligibility, complete the appropriate application, either a two or five year application, have it signed in front of the notary public. Depending on which application is required, you'll be asked to provide additional materials, including a letter explaining the circumstances of your conviction and three letters of reference from non-family members. Submit your application and call the Secretary of the Commonwealth to confirm your application was received and is complete. It can take up to 60 days for the governor to notify you of whether your application has been approved. Call 1-855-LET-VOTE or visit takebackmyvote.org. Having the right person to speak in your behalf is essential for your day-to-day -day living. I guess I just want to be a part of things and be able to vote and set a good example for my children. Roll up your sleeves, get dirty, you get knocked down, get back up. That's what champs made of. Voting is your right, take it back. Voting is your right, take it back. Voting is your constitutional right. You need to want to take it back.